Sammy Bold. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Episode four of the renowned, acclaimed, Oscar-winning series. Don't say acclaimed. Can't say acclaimed. That's Sorry, that's another guy. We appreciate it. The Bronami Code. Episode four, and we have a very Can't special guest. Can't say Oscar either. It's Can't say day. Oscar. The Grouch? <laughs> the Grouch. We're, we're, we're pals. Listen, we're friends. Listen, like Larry David, we'll fight a Muppet. We will right? fight a Muppet. We'll yeah. beat the shit. We'll put the iron claw on, on Elmo, okay? You see, and I'll, worked punch I'll chop it? block fucking Big Bird, too. Fuck that yeah. motherfucking long-ass chicken legs. I'll put a figure four on I'll that slam motherfucker. slam it. We got Speedball Mike Bailey. We got him in our dingy Polish hotel. We are here. Don't bury the hotel that I mean, the promoter put us in. I mean, it's just a, it's just a tiny hotel. It's, we, it's just Europe. We are here. No, that's the thing about Europe. Everything is really small. And there's no water fountains. And there's no water fountains. We got, it's fucking bad for the environment. You need water to live. Anyway. So, okay. Uh, I'm going to quickly plug Veda's drawing power. Please. But what this man said about food on there. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, no, he please, let me hear you. He has very hard. Let me hear your He has the palate of a child. Are you vegetarian? Go, right? No, I'm not vegetarian. I will eat literally anything. Hmm. Literally. No, I, 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 <laughs> like, how do you want to think Liter- of <laughs> Literally <laughs> anything. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I, there's very few thing, foods that I, like, don't like. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, there's things that I won't prefer. Like, uh, in Japan, when you go to Korean barbecue and they get, like, the... the, the hormone and like the stomach lining and all that i don't prefer it i can eat it i'll tolerate it i love tongue tongue is delicious Mm -hmm. liver i like there's a the raw horse liver that i've had that i that i really like so that's meat so that's within your your wheel absolutely i'd eat that i'm kind of i'm kind of the same way i'll eat anything but i'm pescatarian so Mm -hmm. i'm just i would eat anything if i wasn't pescatarian but i'll eat any fish i would eat a tongue or or gut lining Mm -hmm. over a piece of celery anyway we have mike bailey on the show uh, Mike Bailey, who I believe to be the king of the Indies. Oh wow! Because Thank you. pretty much everywhere we go, Mike you, Bailey, you're there. there. I'm there. Yeah. And we've seen you so much. He's there, and he has the best match of the night every time. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you've been doing this a long time at a very high level. Thank How long you. have you been doing it? Yes. So I've been wrestling, like, I went, professional wrestling. Professional is a is a strong word, but I've been taking wrestling bookings for 18 years. Wow. I started when wow. I was 15. Your career is legal. Right? That's <laughs> Congratulations. Right. My career is, is, uh, can vote. Legal is, can vote, can, can drink in Quebec, but not in but Ontario. Not, and not in America. Not in America. Not in America. No, America. No, but it can go to war. It but, go, yep, it can <laughs> die. It can, it can die, die for its country. It can join the army, it can't drink in America. So yeah. before that, you did Taekwondo. Yes. Correct? That's yeah. right. Black belt? Black. Correct? Fourth degree black belt. Fourth degree black belt. So, because I went to a McDojo in Massachusetts mm-hmm. and got my black belt. But a fourth degree black belt is something you have to really earn. Mm-hmm. Well, so, I, okay, this is the, I think the whole black belt discussion and how, like, for example, jujitsu, don't come at me, jujitsu. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, but shoot jiu-jitsu hard is, at jujitsu. Is extremely proud of how long it takes to get your black belt. Yeah. But it's like, it's all relative and ultimately completely meaningless. Like in Taekwondo, or especially the style I did, which is WTF, which is the style that is in the Olympics as well. It's very sports focused, mm-hmm. right? So I got my black belt really fast in like three years. Really? Because I was winning all the color belt competitions. So it you just, just you get it by winning. Yes. Yeah. Basically. It makes sense. If you beat, you should beat somebody for the belt. It's like a boss fight. If you beat a black belt, you should get their black belt. And then it's yours. Well, no, because it's about personal growth. Like if, if that was the case, like there was the... The uh, sixty-seven-year-old woman that had had a black belt because she worked really hard. Oh, I'd be challenging her ass. I'd I'd take her ass down. I'd take her ass when I was a yellow belt. Easy. I am terrible and do not prefer fighting games. Oh, you're gonna love this. I would play them. I can't play like competitively against somebody. Yes, I enjoy it. I enjoy playing like Mortal Kombat. I enjoy mostly the the single player aspect. When it comes to like playing online against people that are really good and do this, it stresses you out. It's a, it's almost like you forget how to play. Like first person you know, shooters as well cannot do it. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah, a yeah. game called Sifu. Okay. And it's a martial arts game and just click on story. And we can start with the uh, epilogue. Go to a new game. New game, yeah. And please do not overwrite my <laughs> age. Oh yeah, you're gonna you'll see. That's what yeah. Oh wow. You ever watch anime? Some anime, yeah. Oh should you just taunt? I played this game for ten hours and I did Didn't not know you could taunt. taunt. Oh. What did you do to taunt? I hit the Oh, no like, shit. Just like WWE. You games. can do the you can do the the rock. I did that in you my You can do the just today. bring it. Oh shit. It, it's more of the, I think I, it's Morpheus from the Matrix, isn't it? Yes. That's where he got it. Oh shit. 
So to parry, it's left bumper. There, there you go. go. And then beat his ass. Boom, boom. And Y and B for a special combo. Same time. At the same, oh, same time. time. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, my Whoa. God. Look at you. You look like uh, Sasuke's classic. brother. <laughs> What's his name? Ichi Madara. Madara. And now you got to beat all, all these guys. You're going to get a dialogue option. Okay. You want to say move or who? So do you watch a yeah, lot of uh, martial arts films? I do, yes. Oh, what are films. some of your favorites? So I love all the Jackie Chan stuff. I think Jackie, Jackie Chan, Chan is so goes. good. Ong Bak was a uh, transformative. Yeah. At the time when it came out. In terms of like watching modern martial arts movies that were heavily edited and didn't have many scenes that you could recreate in real life. Yeah. When I, when I was a kid, I really loved... Um, I think it was on Spike TV in the States where they had a, um, like a Bruce Lee marathon. Yeah. And they would go through like uh, Game of Death, uh, Enter the Dragon, they just do all of them in a row and they'd have uh, interviews with like his surviving family like throughout the commercials. So wait, can I just sucker punch this guy? Uh, he's your buddy. Is he cool? Fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> Don't trust anyone. <laughs> DTA. I'm curious if you have any influences in wrestling, or if it's mostly just, like, martial arts. So, I feel like, yes, but there's a lot of people before me in pro wrestling that were adapting martial arts extremely mm. well. So, I only had to copy from those. Uh, like, early I assume Red. RVD? So, not RVD, not that no, much. No, really? No, be again, somewhat. So, when I started wrestling, when I first started taking bookings, I literally wrestled as Mike Sidoff. What? Yep. Were you his kayfabe younger brother? No, he has a real younger brother. Right. I didn't know about his... I didn't know about the real Mike Seidel back then. You didn't know... Were you trying to take his last name as like an yeah. homage? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, cool. But more like as a gag. So honestly, when I started wrestling, I didn't expect the promotion where I started to... Oh! 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 And then press RT. Uh, when you hold LT. When you hold, hold LT. Hold LT and then move... And then press RT. That's I poke. Oh. oh yeah, you knocked her out with it. You dirty. You would think I'm so. sorry. Yeah, B. There you, go. there you go. I'm not used to the Xbox. And I believe control. if you press Y, you throw it. I think. But you're not going to want to do that yet. Uh, I remember. <laughs> yeah! Yes! There we go. That old man. Beat that old ass. Beat his wrinkled ass. I already forgot all the buttons. <laughs> there we go. No. Good spot. I think it's about me. How do you feel about um, Steven Seagal Aikido? No. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the hot take. There's no hot take. <laughs> do you believe it's real? No, I wow. actually don't. Uh, I believe he's uh, entirely a fraud. <laughs> so you've seen the videos where he goes and guys do flip, <laughs> guys take big beals and shit. Do you guys know the Karate Nerd? No, no. So he's a fantastic YouTube channel. Is he like the angry video game nerd for karate? No, he's very nice, very chill. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, but he did a, a series with uh, Steven Seagal, where he like takes him seriously, but... He takes him, <laughs> that's a joke. He, he like pretends, to, I don't know. So he takes him very seriously and is incredibly respectful, as you kind of have to be, right? So if you somehow had the opportunity to get Steven Seagal as a guest for this show... Oh, there was, oh, for this show? For this, for this show, show yeah. You would okay. probably be nice to him and treat him respectfully, Sure, right? of course. Shit, you're about to hit him with the fucking One. kill Bill. Oosh. He's gonna take five steps and die. Steps, yeah. Bill. Oh, well, good. You've been playing as the bad guy this whole time. Do you feel bad at all? Do you feel remorse? Mm -hmm. No, I no. Feel, feel pretty good. That's cool. Yeah. No, Don't no. know that old man, but he looked. You know what I mean, he looked like he deserved. Didn't it. look like he, he looked like he deserved it. Yeah. Was martial arts something that like you got into as a kid, or were your parents? So. I did not care for martial arts until I started doing them as a concept. And it was like, a friend said, hey, I'm doing Taekwondo, do you wanna come and try out? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? And then when I started, I was like, oh, this is gonna be really good for when I start pro wrestling. Oh, so you really? knew you were gonna be a wrestler, yeah. got it. But. Like, that's, I, that's how I felt about acting. Yeah. I started doing theater and plays, and I was like, this is gonna help me when I'm fucking wrestling. It was all for wrestling. Right? Yeah, Which yeah. is com a completely ridiculous thing to believe as a child. But when it turns out... I don't out think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. You don't feel like My... Taekwondo helped you in the end? <laughs> it absolutely did. Yeah. Hell yeah. But but the chances that I was actually correct were very, oh, very right. low. So right. my dad had a thing where... Because um, my dad was a pro football player. And I played football. 
So whenever I did something that wasn't football, the joke was always that, oh yeah, Brendan's doing Taekwondo because it works on footwork, which is good for football. Oh shit. So like it was always like, uh, you know, everything can help you in a way as, as long as you just apply it. And I especially think in pro wrestling, because you can kind of have whatever background you come from. If yes. you apply whatever skills you have from that background, then I think it kind of works. Do you have any surgeries? I have no... I have one surgery. The one surgery that I've had to like repair something, aside from a broken nose, but that wasn't like surgery. It was just putting me under to fix it. Sure. It's my orbital bone. When I Whoa. got spinning hook kicked in the orbital bone. Is that what the scar is? Uh, no, the scar is from, well, which one do you mean? Because I've got the two. Eyebrow? Yeah. So I've got this one here, which is from Dick Togo bashing my head. No in shit! Wow. Yes, uh, he was my tag partner, and he, uh, I was getting pinned by Tetsuya Endo, and he broke the cover with a chair. And oh! And it was just like, mashed me on the eye. This was at Sumo Hall, this was the last show on my first trip to Japan. So you remember it <laughs> very well. It. Yeah, when you're when you're firing on all cylinders in this game, it makes you feel so fucking so cool. So I still feel like I'm just mashing buttons. It'll get harder, trust me. And, but yeah, will I like have to? At some point, there'll be like four different dudes coming at you from all different angles. Nice. I think yeah. this, is, this is clearly this is clearly meant to make you feel awesome. Right yeah. Now. He's giving you the hallway scene. Right. I'm surprised it's this early in the game too. Oh, they got a hook. Well, game. you know the science. Of video games, people found out that most people, when they buy a game, they only play the first like 20 yeah. minutes. Full of hours. Oh, up. you were just talking about it being too easy. Look at you. Oh no. <laughs> but I also talked about how here's, I was just mashing buttons. That's here's true. The gimmick, here's the gimmick. So every time you die, you age. Oh. And the more you die, the more you age. That's my job. Um, I'm really excited because Persona just came out, uh, and I'm really upset because it came out while I was here. And not before I could. Why is it like it's getting? Hit it kind of feels like faster. when you die, it's like you don't even know that your health is going down. Yeah, I really. I'm 26 now. <laughs> I also don't know why I died. You got hit with a crowbar. <laughs> very often, and if you put two people in a very bad pro wrestling school and say, "Hey, learn pro wrestling," this is just put people on their own and say, "Watch some pro wrestling and learn how to do it." Oftentimes, the result for the people that just kind of learned how to do it ends up better than the terrible school. How integral do you feel is to someone who has natural holy fuck hit you once in the back of the head and you died. That's crazy. It's all downhill from Look at she's getting gray in her hair. It's all downhill from me. Oh no. Oh, shit. I got the stick. I should be able to take out some of these dudes, right? I feel like you're using that like a nunchuck. Yeah. Nice. Oh shit. Oh, my God. Nice. There we go. You did it. Oh my god. It only aged you 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to go how, to sleep, how old that's so can fun. I 70. 70? 70. 70. 70's game over. How long is this game? Five chapters. Shoot. But okay. ideally, you don't want to age at all in these early levels. Because in the next chapter, you'll still be the same age. So you have 70 years to get through the whole game. This is a bad game. It's this fucked. It's not going well. It's fucked. So, uh, but I think your environment has a lot to do with it. And like, uh, I think it's like this is this is a controversial opinion, but I think telling like students out of wrestling school that they need to get in better shape and train it's is tough, usually yeah, destructive. Yeah. Because they need to see that wrestling can actually be beneficial to them, and then that will motivate them to get in better shape, and not I, not the other way around, just what people expect. Like you need to know in order to like commit yourself to something like professional wrestling. You need to feel like it's gonna have some kind of um, like positive. It's tough because like you're not there, there's like a, an association with telling people they need to get in shape with like body shaming. Yes. And I don't think that's true because when I when I try to communicate with kids when I'm talking to them about you need to get in better shape, it's that if you're in peak physical condition, then your partner slash opponent can trust you more. Yes. Because you're conditioned better, you're stronger. You're able to fucking protect them better because you're not. You're a Roydy McGoo. No, it just means that you are not going to get fucking tired and drop them. And I think on their a neck. bit of it is in that, like, unless uh, you mean to drop them on their neck. Like you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. This is hard because I'm trying to be engaging in conversation, but also play this horribly difficult. This game. is this boss fight is going to fuck oh you up. Oh my god! I will say this: 
He only has three combos if you can memorize the pattern. I don't even know the buttons. You, you can... <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. And then every time he blocks, he's going to counterattack. So just be careful. But what we were saying was our last uh, two, I guess? Because the one with Bussy was also kind yes. of in the same vibe where yes. one person was playing and it's just become like a philosophy stock. Yeah. <laughs> like Effie just got him, we got him going on about life and mm -hmm. uh, society. He put you over, by the way. art. I love Effie. He put you I over. I would put him over quite too. a bit. He's truly innovative minds in professional wrestling right now that is really seeing pro wrestling for what it should be and able to break it down or to rebuild it into something that is profitable. Mm. Yeah. I think oh you boy. turn 70 the next dev. Oh boy. Whoa! Oh, oh shit! Okay, good times. Great start. <laughs> I mean, you made it through the whole level. That's something to be proud of. No. No? You don't think so? I don't know. Is it? It's a hard game. Yeah. I've hard died. Game. I've died on this level before. And then I played like 10 hours on the plane and just like committed. You're pretty close to breaking his guard if you can make it just a little longer. Maybe use that. Oh. This is it. I think this is your last chance. This is my last chance. Here we go. This how we get fucking in. serious. 71. Here we go. Just keep your hand on that parry button. Look at you're so old. Nice. There you go. Oh, you're He's locked learning. in. You're locked in. And after you parry, that's when you can hit a combo. Oh shit. He's gonna Where'd disappear. He go? Be very careful. He's gonna hop out and slice her ass. Oh, oh nice, dude! Let's go! Yeah. This is so fucking hype! Yeah! Oh, let's go! These walls are paper thin. You did it! And now you're gonna murder him. What's, what's wrong with his face? Well, he's, well, he's getting murdered. about to die. Don't you get to that choose whether it. or not you kill him or not? I don't know what my face would look like if I was about to die. What do you think you would accept your fate? Yes. You're like, I feel oh. like I like, guess I'll die. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like I already have. Well, speedball, you fucking beat the first level. <laughs> and you beat the, the boss. That's all we could have asked. That's great. Right? Yes. That's pretty good. Now, now should, the next you, time you die, it is a game over. Yes. And there's four more levels to go. Okay, good. Yep. But that's just something to consider. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just have to yeah. start again next yeah. time. Yeah. But wow. um, you want to plug your socials and such? I'm at Speedball Bailey on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all that. Twitch.tv slash Speedball Bailey, where I sometimes play video games, but mostly watch professional wrestling. I have a YouTube channel with vlogs and other fun videos, but mostly... Uh, if you don't know me and are interested, just go on YouTube, put in Speedball by Bailey, watch literally any match, and if you like it, then uh, share it and say something. Spread the word. Absolutely. Speaking of spreading, let's all do our favorite pose. Whatever pose you feel. Whatever pose you feel is your favorite We've pose got today. A pose, but... That's what's mine today. And always remember, keep it loose.